Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Despite speculation that maybe Toyota would temporarily cancel the 4Runner, it does look like it's coming out next year. Toyota USA on their Instagram and I think also on some other social media uh, channels, they have finally showed a teaser picture of the sixth generation Toyota 4Runner. Toyota definitely had some fun with this. They basically released a post that said from 1984 and to so much more, can you identify each model year? But what's funny is that there's six pictures in this Instagram post. So that leads you to obviously want to go to the last picture. And then that's where you see this teaser uh, picture of the sixth generation 4Runner. Now, obviously, other than this photo, Toyota is kind of keeping a tight lip on everything. So, for example, this guy is saying he wants to have a V6 in his 4Runner. And Toyota is commenting with a detective emoji. Uh, you know, they're, they're playing coy with everyone. They're not releasing any specs. They haven't said anything specific. And even in this Reddit post right here where the 4Runner community is talking about the 6th generation 4Runner, one person did ask, looks vertical and flat enough to have a roll down window, which is very important for everyone. I know my dog loves having that roll down window. And it does look like there was one comment where, let me go ahead and pull it up. There it is. There was one comment where this commenter asked that exact same question and Toyota USA responded with these eyeballs, right? So... They're playing coy with everyone. Who knows if we're going to get a V6 out of this, uh, the Sequoia uh, Turbo V6, maybe a hybrid V6. I doubt that's going to happen. I think the more likely case scenario is that it's going to be exactly what the Tacoma is. The powertrain is going to be essentially a copy from the Tacoma, including uh, the body on frame. Uh, designed the TNGAF platform. I can't remember which one it is, but that platform is being used by all the body on frame vehicles from Toyota. So there's not going to be too much difference between the newest Tacoma and this 4Runner. I think what most of us can agree on is how is the Land Cruiser Prado, which is now coming to North America, how is that going to be much different than the current 4Runner for the sixth generation? Um, I, I think they're going to struggle. I think Toyota is going to struggle trying to differentiate the two. And 4Runner has a better um, uh, namesake within the USA. So I think most people, if they had to choose between the two vehicles, are going to choose the 4Runner. So time will tell. But uh, the Prado, the new Land Cruiser Prado coming to North America, that spec sheet is out. We know a lot of the details of what's going to be. So I am looking forward to when Toyota finally releases the 4Runner spec sheet. And I will be one of the first to do that comparison on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see that video. Once the four and the new 6th Gen 4Runner specs come out, I'll make sure to do a compare and contrast with the Land Cruiser to figure out what is the difference when it comes to these two different trucks. Now, other than that speculation, it looks like on social media, most people are responding very positively. TRD John po uh, posted uh, all the, the 4Runner lifestyle page posts. I think I saw one of the other 4Runner um Yoda Mafia, yep, they posted. And so, but mostly overwhelmingly positive on social media. Uh, Reddit, not so much. I think the Reddit community is a little bit harsher. Um, there are some comments of people saying that based off of what the Tacoma has looked like, not many people are gonna be too excited about what could potentially happen with this 4Runner. However, I think overwhelmingly, we could try to remain positive. Uh, this this weird powertrain uh, evolution of going hybrid and and being more eco-friendly. It is what it is. We can't change it. So we're just lucky to be able to get a sixth generation. It's finally announced officially, even though there has been speculation and rumors. And I just want to share that to the page and thank you for watching. Any further news, I'll make sure to post about the 4Runner because I love my fifth generation. I just hit 100,000 miles on my fifth gen and I'll make sure to make a, a post about lessons learned for that one. Um, but other than that, any other news, I'll make sure to share on this channel. Thank you for watching.